Aloha, this is Bear Wozniak coming to you from my home in Waikiki Beach. And today I want to talk to you about the virtue of moderation. I remember once surfing with my buddies at County Line in Ventura, California. Wally was there and Cap was there and we got it out of that freezing cold water, went up to Neptune's Net, sat down, having some, some hot coffee to keep us warm. And one of the people said, you know what? The only thing you really need in life is new socks. And you know what? In the islands we don't wear socks, but on the mainland, a nice pair of new, like, white socks can be a real luxury. And from then on, that was really about the only luxury I had in my life. I'd always buy about a dozen new pair of socks about every couple of months and just enjoy those socks. The next day we said, yep, that's all you really need in life. And we sat down and we said, it's a new pair of socks. And then someone said, you know what, you really need a bucket too because you got to have something to put your socks in. And then someone said, you know what, what you really, really need in life is you, you need a surfboard. Oh, yeah, that goes without saying you got to have a surfboard. And then someone said, you know what, you need a wax for your surfboard. And then someone said, you need a real cool car with surf racks to put your surfboard on. And then someone said, you know, when it's flat, it's a good time to go sailing. What you really need is a sailboat. And so we had gone from this thing of being a minimalist and, and, uh, and a detachment to wanting more and more and more. We call it being acquisitive. The first lesson we need to learn in life is one of the first things we need to learn is detachment. Detachment from things, detachment from a need for power, detachment from a need for money, detachment from a need for glory. Learn to detach from all these things that we think might console us and learn to find our only consolation in intimacy with God. This is Bear Wozniak coming to you from Waikiki Beach. Abandon yourself to the wild adventure of God's will.